All right, thanks for stopping by. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to walk through a system that I use for doing keyword research. And this one is for a CPA, an accounting firm in California, in Los Angeles, in the film production and entertainment industry. Their clients are film producers and actors and actresses and studios and that kind of thing. So how are we going to stand out from all the other CPAs that are going for, you know, the typical keywords that everybody would search for? So we're going to we're going to implement a, a different strategy that I've done for many years, which enables business to stand out from the competition. So let me show you. Uh, let me show you the results of what I've produced, and then I'm going to show you how I go through the process. OK, first of all, this is uh, let me make this a little bit bigger here so you can see it. OK, so I started out and I knew some of the basic terms, OK, entertainment, CPA firms entertainment industry audit, um, you know, your, your basic, your basic keywords. Okay. Uh, film production, accounting, sports, accounting firms, accounting for the movie industry, uh, things like that. This is, these are the kind of things that I came up with. Um, uh, let's see, you know, you could, so you could take entertainment CPA firms and you could go down here and you could go for filmmakers, for film ma uh, makeup artists, cameramen, set you know, movie studios, movie producers, on and on. But I found some other really amazing words like net profits of the production film industry, defined proceeds, contingent compensation, adjusted gross, gross receipts for, for movie studios. Okay, so, uh, you know, just continue on here. Uh, look at some of the keywords like contingent compensation, adjusted gross receipts, net profit, break point, first dollar gross participation, so here, film forecast modeling. Now, these are keywords that most SEO people will never even find. And uh, so I'm going to show you how I went through the process of finding these. But I didn't. I didn't know these. I I, I didn't even know about these keywords before. Uh, but I'll show you how I found them. Okay. So here here I went. I, my first step in the process was I went over to ahrefs.com, and I typed in entertainment CPA in the keyword research. So that's a pretty pretty good tool. And so I find. Oh my gosh. There's only 30 searches a month. Entertainment CPA Los Angeles, only 20 searches. Now there are 47 keywords um, and not a lot of questions. So I'm like, okay, that's not good. So maybe I need to do like a search for accountant. I do know that this is a good niche because I've done this before in for a CPA in Los Angeles and they got like amazing business from film production studios and things like that enough so that they could sell their practice to the, one, the company that I'm working with now. I didn't get quite as deep as I'm going into right here. All right, so you can see entertainment accountant. Yeah, I mean, there's a few more keywords, you know, so you've got 100 keywords, but they're still not great. You know, you're not getting a lot of traffic. So it's like, hmm, okay, so what's next? So then I go over and I use Google and I type in entertainment CPA. I have this uh, other keyword tool called Keywords Everywhere. It's about a $10 a year tool. And I've got, it tells me, it gives me an, it gives me some ideas. Okay, CPA for professional athletes. Okay, that's a decent one. And for the entertainment industry, entertainment accountants. And so, you know, I'm looking at you know, I I'm look I looked at this law firm and I I like reverse engineered this law firm to see if I could find some keyword phrases. Uh, well, let me show you. Let me show you what I did here. So here I am. I'm back. I, I uh, here here's Cone Resnick, which I found in keywords everywhere. And let's let's see what they come up for. So we do the keyword search, and what I'm really interested in are their top pages. So let's see if we can find anything here. And what I'm finding is I didn't even really look at this firm, but I'm not finding anything, you know, they're, they're like a general site, so they, they don't help me. So I'm okay. So I'm, I need to keep going. I need to keep digging. So, so here we are back at entertainment CPA. And so I'm looking to see, okay, I'm doing a search on a national basis. So I'm looking to see 
who might come out. These, the, these are local results. And so I found, okay, here's some keywords, entertainment, industry, audit, accounting, tax, and growth. So I looked along here, this is the number one searched site. So let's, let's maybe even go in and look at their website and see what they're ranking for. And I found, oh, okay. So entertainment industry for composers, for directors, models, pro athletes, producers. I know that people search for what relates to them. They might just search for, some people might search for a tax you know, entertainment industry uh, accountant, but this is a very specialized industry. So uh, some, a model or a director might search for tax accountants for directors, for film directors, or for models or pro athletes or producers or product film production companies. So you got to sort of think, put yourself in the shoes of the searcher and how would they search? Okay. And then here, here I've got like a notepad over here. Let me, uh, let me just, so you can see what I did was as I'm, as I'm doing this search, I'm looking, I'm just adding the keywords to this notepad, you know, and I'm looking for entertainment CPA for composers, directors, actors, musicians, comedians, talent scouts. And then, you know, you've got professional athletes here, here, and you got film production and you've got film production companies. Okay. You want to use and TV production companies for filmmakers, for makeup artists, for cameramen. Okay. So now we're starting to put together a strategy because you, you can use this as part of your blog strategy and you can write, here's, here's a very simple strategy where you can replicate the strategy. So instead of trying to write one blog and try and hoping you're going to rank for all these, you could write blogs about entertainment CPA for uh, movie or, or, or music composers or film directors or um, Hollywood models or Hollywood actors or musicians or that kind of thing. So now we're starting to put together a, I, I can see this unfolding with lots of different strategies. And once you have it all put together, you can just outsource the writing. It, it, it's not a hard thing to do. Uh, you just need to have a system. And so, okay, let me, let's move on here. So as I went through the process, I went down and I'm looking at all these, you know, CPA services. Okay. I, I know the word services is a good one, entertainment and sport. I could even look at this website for and see what are they talking about? Because these are the ones that are ranking at the top, not geographically, but on a national search. And, you know, I look at the questions, do these apply? You know, if you quick click one of the questions, you're going to get more questions, but these don't really apply. So I went down, I know that I know that Markham is a big one. So I looked at the Markham site. And I'm looking for anything that I can find, any edge that I can get. I'm looking in different, uh, I'm looking in AdWords, you know, small, okay, payroll processing. So I found payroll processing. So payroll processing for film studios could be a good one. Estate planning for entertainment industry, tax resolutions, litigation support. So these are all good keywords that you could apply to the entertainment industry. And then you've got some other things down here that down at the bottom, Google's telling you people are searching for words like this and that didn't really help me. Uh, and then we can, we can go a little bit deeper here, but I'm, you know, I'm not really finding what I was looking for. So I'm like, okay, I'm a little bit stuck. I've been paid to do this. And uh, I've been paid to do this research and I got to find something. So I got to figure out, okay, what is my next step here? Because I've only, I, I don't have that many keywords here. So let's get a little deeper. So what I did was I went over to Amazon and I did a search for entertainment accounting books. And uh, I found entertainment industry economics um, anyway, uh, I did a search for, uh, uh, film production accounting and I found this book called movie money. 
And so I went over here and I went into into their uh, table of contents and I started to go through this book and I found I looked at their table of contents then I scrolled down and I started to read through their forward and I started to look at some of the keywords that they're using in the content um, and in this book he's telling a little bit of the story so uh, he's telling a little story about the book and I found that he's talking about this Hollywood's premier motion picture profit participation auditing firm. That sounds pretty interesting. That's like a real heavy duty industry term. Now, you may not get that many people searching that term, but I guarantee it's not going to be hard to rank for that keyword phrase. Let's just take a quick look. So then I found this whole, so I did a search for film profit participation audits and I found all kinds of information here. And so what I did was I went through again, I went through this here. So this is, this is getting pretty interesting now. Anyway, I went through, uh, I went through this whole, I went, I read through the, the, this, this area, the preface, I went through the acknowledgements and, you know, I just started to look for keywords that the industry expert who wrote this book would have used. And uh, I could use, I'm looking at the words that these people use in the industry. Like they're using more motion pictures rather than film. Uh, and, you know, motion pictures can create a flood of cash. So if you, uh, and then it goes into the challenges in the industry. It talks about the film executives and how much money there is in the industry. And... Uh, so if that's your goal, then you've come to the right place. Let's start with some ground rules. So now we go down here a little bit here. The performer, here's the line contract language. The per performer shall be entitled to contingent compensation equal to 10%, blah, blah, blah. Contingent of compensation, really, really good word. I would want to know that. If I was in the film production industry, I'd want to know about somebody that could help me with contingent compensation. Uh, and then I found down here, what do we hear? We have adjusted gross receipts with a hard floor. Okay, adjusted gross receipts is another word right here. And, uh, but anyway, this was the big thing. So now, the strategy really, before you even build your website, before you implement any kind of SEO strategy or write any content, what you really want to do is you want to buy this book. And then you want to go through this book and you want to find out here's what the experts are. The, here are the keywords that people that they're talking about in this industry. You want to take this book and you want to find out how to create your content strategy. And then once you create your content strategy and you have it all put together and you piece it together like a book, like you're almost going to write your own book. Then you can start a blog strategy where you write in a blog every week or every day or whatever it is. And you just look at it as a step at a time. But here's where the words are that people in the industry are using. And it only takes one keyword that some or keyword phrase that somebody searches to get a massive client in a multi, multi billion dollar industry. And think about one big client can do for you in this industry. It can turn you on to all the actors and the camera people and everything else because you've got the information on your site and you, you create the content like you're writing a book. And here's the book that you can start with to give you a strategy and all the keywords that relate to the people in this industry. Not the keywords that people, not, not the keywords that Ahrefs are telling us about because this is, you're looking at a, um, you know, there, I, I'm going to get into strategies later. But anyway, that's the story. I'm going to wrap up this video. And I hope this helps you uh, with your uh, with your business because you can apply this to every business out there. It's how you position yourself as an expert rather than just another site that ranks that has the same information that everybody else has.